Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. This picturesque small town community situated on the north end of this beautiful lake. Surrounded by mountains, rivers, wildlife, and you start heading into a town full of rich history. You walk down the street amongst many old historical buildings and you run into somebody that's gonna take the time to smile, ask your name, how are you doing? And we are located at the heart of that, inside the old train depot. A tech company building something that we think is really special. It started with a couple guys from this town. We saw the problems with traditional 3D printing and traditional composites manufacturing, and we knew that there had to be a better way. And Continuous Composites was born. When we started Continuous Composites, we had experience with traditional 3D printing and we were fascinated with its capabilities. But we were extremely frustrated with the inherent weaknesses that most processes had. The main drawbacks of traditional 3D printing today is that you have a very slow process, you have weak materials, and you also have very small build volumes. We also saw the problem with traditional composite manufacturing techniques. We only find composites in extremely high-end applications like aerospace and defense, which most processes require extensive skilled labor, very expensive and long lead time tooling and molds to support the materials, and autoclaves, which are basically big pressure cookers that consolidate the material and cure it. The result is a very costly process to manufacture with these high-performance materials. We saw an opportunity to introduce these composite materials leveraging a 3D printing process and develop an additive manufacturing technology that could truly be an industrialized solution and democratize composites into new industries and applications that couldn't overcome the current barriers to entry. When we started, we were just introducing these strong fibers into a 3D printing application, and we realized that by leveraging UV curable resins, we were able to print in free space, and it opened up capabilities far beyond anything that we could have ever imagined from the beginning. We knew we had something special, and we had to protect it. We operated in stealth mode, developing the technology just far enough along to demonstrate its capabilities while we continued to protect our foundational patents as well as filing additional patents which are the cornerstone and foundation in which we were built off of. What we created is what we refer to as CF3D or Continuous Fiber 3D Printing. CF3D is an additive manufacturing technology that uses very strong fibers mixed with our UV curable resins that creates a composite material. The fact that they're photo initiated means that we can trigger them instantaneously and have them harden and form their network polymerization in milliseconds, which allows us to print unsupported structures. The ability to print free space means that there's all kinds of geometries that are now not only possible that weren't possible with composites, but it means they're financially more near term. The technology is not limited to small machines. It's extremely scalable by placing six axis robot arms on linear rails as long as you could imagine, enabling you to manufacture components to the size and specification that you require. You can add in functionality like fiber optics, copper wire, sensing, and build this right into your structure. CF3D is gonna change the way you manufacture composites and introduces this to new industry applications ranging from aerospace and defense to sporting goods and medical industry. You name it, there's an application for this technology. When I look back from where we started to where we're at now, words can't even describe how far we've come. We started this business around an idea with an amazing team building it. And we still have a lot of work to do. 
But what keeps us going day in and day out is knowing that we're developing a technology that is going to change the world. And this is only the tip of the iceberg.